Ashland Post 77 got their season underway versus Newton this past Monday, and they piled on the runs. Bottom of the first inning, it wasn't scoreless for long. Course broadcasting experience as this is hit high in the air, over to left center, to the wall, and it's going to land in front of the wall. Runner being waved around. Here comes Brandon Grover, and he will score the first Post 77 run of the season. It's an RBI triple for Jackson Hornung. That one is low, and here comes Horning to try to score, and he will easily 2 0 post 77. A wild pitch allows Hornung to cross home plate. Bottom of the second, a whole lot more runs came around. Line up in the pitch. He'll get a piece of this one hit high in the air, left side. Could be trouble, and it's going to drop past the left fielder. One run is already in. Here comes another and another. And that is going to clear the bases. A three RBI double for Jackson Hornung. Seven has loaded the bases. And Diavanzo gets a piece of this over to center field. It goes and it falls. Hornung is in. Here comes Kavanaugh. And up to third is Jewett. And it is going to be two more runs for post 77. It's now a seven to nothing lead. A two RBI single for Diavanzo. There's the ball, runner taking off from first. The throw is into the outfield, and here comes Jouette for another post-77 run. Six runs score in the bottom of the second. Post-77 added one in the bottom of the third and three more in the bottom of the fourth. And the pitch, line into left, and that's gonna go pretty much all the way to the fence. Here comes Horning, round third. He's gonna score. Kavanaugh into second with a double. 1-1 one, one pitch. That one smacked into left. Left fielder is going back, and it's over his head. Going all the way to the wall. Kavanaugh rounds third. He's going to score. Throw goes over the cutoff man's head. Bottom of the fifth, post 77 would abruptly end the game. That is ripped up the left side. Advancing to second is Amalfi. Now he's going to head to third. As the ball rolled past the fielder, now he's going to try to score. And there, the throw in will be very late. And Amalfi is going to cross home plate to make it a 13-1 game. The mercy rule went into effect. And Post 77 took the 13-1 win over Newton in game one of the season. Owen Ward pitched the complete game. Jake, an impressive 13-1 mercy win out there today. The bats really got going. Um, you must love starting off a season like that. Oh, absolutely. Um, we met early today, uh, a couple hours before the game, and we talked about having an approach, um, what that means, what it should be. Um, and they came out and they executed that perfectly. You know, they were, uh, they were fantastic. Um, early in the count, working the count deep, working walks. Brandon Grover, I mean, that first inning has an incredible bat, works a walk, I think like a nine, 10 pitch at bat. Jackson comes up, hits the triple. Like we can score runs in plenty of ways. Um, and it's really awesome to see. We have a deep lineup. We're missing three guys who are gonna be in our everyday lineup and still young guys coming in, stepping up right away. It's awesome, it really is. Uh, how's it, how's it uh, been uh, getting the team together and getting the team ready for the season? Has it been challenging since you haven't really had the opportunity to work with a whole lot of these players too much? It definitely is tough. Um, and we have got some practices in. We haven't had a full team practice, obviously. Some of the Ashland guys came and got extra work in once. Um, but again, like it's such a short season. MIAA, MIAA uh, makes it a little difficult. But coaches like Messer at Ashland and, of course, Simos in Hopkinton make it easier for me because I know they're coming here, they're ready, um, they're talented kids, that's why we're here. We had 38 kids try out this year, and so this group, to make this team, I mean, you had to be a talented player, so every single kid, we're deep, um, solid players all around, so I, 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 I have it a little easier because they come ready to go, uh, and it's pretty nice, so. I'd say that's certainly a better situation than most programs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Owen Ward pitched terrific out there today. Uh, could you talk about his performance? So 48 pitches in five innings. He faced 18 batters, and on 12 of those batters, he threw a first pitch strike. 
Um, Owen is unbelievable. I mean, on and off the field, like perfect kid to represent this program. I mean, hardworking, on the mound, hits his spots. He makes it so easy. Him and Sean have a great connection too. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably the least surprising Owen Ward performance I've seen. Last year, he opened us up with a no-hitter. So, um, yeah, he's he's a great pitcher. He's a great kid. I'm so happy to have him, have him this summer. Well, Coach, there's a whole lot of talent on this team. Um, congratulations and a win in your uh, head coaching debut, and yeah. we're certainly looking forward to the rest of the season. Yeah. Thank you. Ashland followed up with a 9-1 to win in Natick on the second night of the season. Dom Cavanaugh pitched a six-inning gem in the win. Through the first two games of the season, catcher Sean Jouette went 5-for-5 five five at the plate, driving in five runs and scoring three. And Jackson Horna went four for six, driving in four runs and scoring four. We caught up with the pair after the game one win over Newton. Tom Nappy here with Jackson Horna and Sean Jouette. Guys, a nice offensive explosion to start off the season. And uh, I know you haven't really had too much experience to really play with each other yet due to a number of your teammates going deep in the MIA playoffs. But how does it feel to get the season started off like you did here today? Well, that's a big confidence booster, and that's all accredited to Coach Obed. He's really picked us up as a team, brought us together, made us all work together. He puts people in the right positions to win and succeed. And I credit him with this win. He did a great job today. And Jackson, you had a great performance uh, today as well. You got three hits, drove in a number of runs, and scored four runs. Uh, what was it like playing with these guys out there today? J just fresh off a uh, deep run in the MIAA playoffs. Uh, congratulations on a great season with the Clockers, by the way. But uh, how was it just picking up right where you left off, getting back on the diamond, and having an offensive explosion like you did here today? I mean, it was great. These guys love backing me up. They back up everyone. So... They knew uh, we were still down a little bit from that game a couple days ago, but they just picked us up. knew uh, They knew we had to go out here today and get a W. So you know, first goal of the year was to get more uh, wins than last year. So we had to start off today strong. So you know, and uh, it was a, a bit of a disappointing finish last season, but certainly a lot of talent is back this year. What are your expectations for the season? Well, you know, our expectations are high, but we just got to take it one game at a time. If we get too ahead of ourselves, you know, we got the horse behind the carriage you know we're not able to move so we gotta focus each game each pitch each inning and we'll move together and Jackson you have a number of returning teammates on post 77 from last year including Sean uh, what's it like to play with these guys and what's it like to be back with post 77 uh, well with some of them it's, it's great to be back and playing with them and there's some others like uh, Luke Gustafson who just we just dread playing with um, but uh, you know it's great uh, we keep it loose and, um, you know, playing against each other all during the high school year, you know, it's just great. So by finally being back on the same team, that chemistry is just, it's just there. So, you know, it, it helps us get more, have more confidence in each other and just go out there and get some uh, dubs. So, All right, guys, well, we're looking forward to a fun season. Congratulations on uh, win number one and game number one and hopefully many more Ws to come. Yeah.